Welcome to Automation Direct Media Series. We're going to walk through DS Launch, which is our DirectSoft 5 launch screen, and we'll navigate through it. If you notice, we're sensing links. These are uh, communications links that are already in our uh, DS Launch screen, so keep that in mind. We'll discuss it in a minute. Um, we're now in our DS Launch screen. We do highly suggest that you use a DS Launch versus just going into DirectSoft and programming. A lot of customers will call up and say, hey, I went in and programmed something. How do I connect up to the PLC? Well, they went in directly to DirectSoft programming software, programmed offline. Um, Might have made it a little bit more difficult. It's a lot easier if you just go into DS Launch. You can go through, set up your comm links, connect up to the PLC live programming. If you just want to go in and program offline, just double click on here and it'll take you directly into DirectSoft offline. Over on the right hand side you can see that we have all of the PLCs that are supported with this package. Uh, I have a full, ver full version so I can program any PLC that Automation Direct sells. If you have a cut down version, it'll actually list those. So keep that in mind if you're trying to program some PLC like a 405 and all you have is a cut down, it's not going to do that. That's going to be the problem. Utilities, we've added a lot of utilities in DS Launch for DirectSoft 5. The first two are links to Automation Direct and Host Engineering's websites. Why is that? You can go to our website, you can uh, download new firmware for your PLCs, or you can get later versions or updated versions of DirectSoft if there's any later releases out there, and those are for free. Uh, just builds and maintenance releases are free. Um, visit Host Engineering. They actually have a list of what they've added in any updates. So if there's uh, any features added or something removed, they'll actually have all that. So if you want to know what's the difference between the version you have and the latest version out there, uh, go to Host Engineering's website. Also, they'll have information about all of the modules and softwares that they uh, created. CTRIO, that is a counter IO module. Host Engineering actually developed it, but um, it is a high speed input output module for counting. And you have to have the workbench to go in and, and set these up. They are intelligent modules. So, depending on what you're using to master it, uh, either a PLC or maybe some computer software to an EBC. Profibus, or you want to set it up offline, you'll use these links and these utilities. ERM, that is an Ethernet Remote Master Configuration tool, and you'll set up your ERMs with this. We'll have a video about this as well, so watch those later on, but you can use ERM to either master, say, uh, slave racks with EBCs in them, or you can uh, master things like uh, AC drives that have an E-Drive card in them. DB. Win32 logger. Basically, this is a debugging aid for Windows NT. Okay, the next icon we have is DN loader. Now, what DN loader is going to do is allow you to send a program to a user or a customer, end user, and they can actually upload the program changes without using DirectSoft. That way, you're not worried about uh, an end user uh, messing up things with the program or you know, screwing up the machine so it doesn't run anymore. So, uh, in the past, uh, some of the older versions of DirectSoft, if they needed to upload something, if we didn't offer a memory cartridge or a memory module for the CPU, you actually had to, you know, send out somebody to physically go load it on the machine, or you had to have your end users send the processor or their PLC back in, and you had to load the program for them. Otherwise, you did take a chance of, you know, if your customer really wasn't PLC savvy and they're trying to load the program in, they could have messed things up, made life a lot more difficult. So now with DN loader you can actually go in and this doesn't cost anything, you just send them the DN loader and they can upload the program to the PLC. No worries about messing anything up. NetEdit 3. Make sure you have the latest version of NetEdit before you use it. But NetEdit is basically to help you configure any of your Ethernet modules. So if you need to go in, uh, look at things like the MAC address, the IP address, the name on it, set things up like that, NetEdit is going to be your friend. Calculator, instead of having to search through your computer and find the calculator, we actually have a link to it. We use it a lot just for things like converting decimal to binary, etc. Version is going to give you the latest or your version of the software that you actually have, so you can check and see if you've got the latest or not. DS500 INI, what is that? Older versions of DirectSoft, we did things like actually all versions of DirectSoft, we had things that you could go in and enable and disable. 
um, but older versions, let's just say, for instance, we had COM ports 1, 2, 3, and 4 were enabled, 5, 6, 7, and 8 were disabled. Well, you wanted to use COM port 8 because you had that many on your computer. You had to go into the INI file after you found it. Well, finding it, it might not you know, be a lot of fun. You might not have time for that. So just to make it a little easier, we put it up there. That way you can go in and find the INI file. Uh, enable COM ports. You can disable things like the audio auto sensing on COM links. Remember I said that when we first launched the screen. It actually goes up and senses all of your COM links. If you've got 10 or 15 of them, it might take a couple of seconds to sense if they're enabled or disabled. If that aggravates you and you don't want that feature, you can go in and disable that. We'll have another video on that later on projects, any projects you've opened up in the software or on this computer will actually show up here. If there's some projects that you haven't opened up, you can right click, do a browse, and find those projects. Comlinks. We've got some offline or disabled comlinks here, so you notice the, compu the uh, computer is not connected to these PLCs anymore. And the one at the bottom is actually green, so it means that the computer did find it when it auto-sensed when we first launched DS Launch. So, to connect up to any of those, just double click on it and it'll connect up to your active com links or your active PLCs. If you want to add some, you'll right click to add a link and we'll have a video for that later on as well. So, hope you follow us along some of our other videos. Thanks, have a great day.